Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video we'll be solving this problem from NLM uh, part of the book Pathfinder and this is from the check your understanding section. So let's read the problem statement. So we have been given a uniform rope of length L and it is held motionless on a frictionless hemisphere with one end of the rope at the top of the hemisphere. The hemisphere is made immobile by gluing it on the horizontal floor. Find where on the rope maximum tensile force is developed immediately after the rope is released. So first let's draw a diagram. So now the length of the rope is given to be L. So let's try to determine the tension as a function of theta here. So at an angle theta, if I take a small element whose angular width is d theta. Okay, so let's say, so there will be a dmg that is acting vertically downwards with this angle theta. So the component of the weight along the tangent is dmg sine theta. Let's say the tension acting here is going to be t and the tension acting here Let's say it's t plus dt. Now after this rope is released, there will be some acceleration of the rope along the semicircular track. So we have to first determine that. Let's say that particular acceleration is simply a. So this dmg element will also have that acceleration of a down the incline. So now let's equate the forces along the tangential direction. So we can write dmg sine theta minus dt equals dm multiplied by a. Now the as this rope is uniform, so what is the length of this small blue element that I just drew? It's going to be r multiplied by d theta, right? So the dm of that small mass, I can write it as its mass, the mass per unit length of the rope, which is going to be m by l, going to be m by l multiplied by the length of that part, which is r d theta. Now substituting this into this equation, sine theta d theta minus dt would be equal to m r upon L G times. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna integrate this expression. And first, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna integrate it from theta equals zero degree, which means that is going to be this point till theta equals, let's say this angle, this extreme angle is theta naught. And we can say R multiplied by theta naught equals to the length of the rope. So theta naught, we can write it as L divided by R. First, we are going to integrate from zero to theta naught. And the reason for this is that in this case, DT would go from zero to zero because at the end, end points, the tension would be zero, right? So if we do this, the tension term will just go away and we can directly get the acceleration. So from here, we'll get the acceleration to be and the value of theta naught is L by R. So this is going to be one minus cos of L by R. So this is the value of acceleration of this uh, row. Now, as we need tension as a function of theta. Now what I'm going to do is change the limits and now let's integrate to general theta. So, and let's, so this will be t and this would be theta. From here we'll get tension t to be. So now we have tension as a function of theta. Okay so now if we just differentiate it. So now let's just do d theta upon dt, the constant term. And the derivative of negative cos theta is going to be sine theta minus and this would become equal to zero. And now if we equate it to zero we'll get the value of theta equals sine inverse of r by l multiplied by 1 minus cos of l divided by r and this would be our answer. So at this theta from the vertical the value of tension would be minimum. So that's it for this question guys. If you have any doubts comment down below. If you have any doubts with any of the pathfinder problems you can comment down below. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.